And welcome back. So here we are with the second car boot toy haul of 2021. Um, we've got some more, any more cool stuff over the past few weeks. First of all, I'll show you the biggest one, which is the Battle Buzz from uh, Fallout. Not Fallout, <laughs> Fortnite. Um, seems to be all complete. I think it's missing a few guns off here. You can't really tell too much. No figures with it. But it was a pound. They did have a figure with it, but um, it was a six inch figure and it was missing a head, so I'm not going to buy that. Still, that is really cool for, for uh, a pound. Uh, next up, we got some more DVDs. We got The Amazing Spider Man, as I'm still collecting all the, uh, trying to collect all the Marvel movies, all the Marvel licensed movies. So we've got, that was brand, uh, brand new. And we got Ghostbusters 2 and the Lego Batman movie, uh, 50p each. Um, we got some Lego figures, vintage Lego figures by the looks of it. We have the yellow skinned uh, Harry Potter, another Harry Potter, got the wrong hair on it, but I'm pretty sure I have some of the hair, and a vintage pirate figure, this is 50p each. Uh, they had loads of them, but at 50p each, I don't particularly want to buy too many. So we've got the Harry Potter ones and the Pirate. I left all of them, let you know the um, City ones. Alright, so next up, <laughs> I randomly found this. I Survived 2020, with a mask on. Uh, two metre apart at 50p, I thought I'd love that. That's funny. Um, this is a really cool find. Again, like the uh, the Care Bear we got, and just in a random box of uh, generic toys. I saw this, went and grabbed it. 1986 miniature um, Thundercats figure. Uh, now, from a collector, I ended up buying uh, this for a fiver. A little bit expensive, but 1994 Marvel. Uh, what's it called? Is it Jawbreaker? No, um, I forget the figure's name, but I love the fact that it's a, like a centaur but with a tank track. So that was a cool find. Next up for three quid, I got uh, the Star Wars Clone Wars, the sort of original cartoon. Both of them, and it came with uh, Darth Vader and Son book, which you'll have a, have a read of. Yeah, they were uh, it's three quid for them. We wanted it sold as a as a bundle. Uh, next up, we found uh, a whole bunch of toys that were the some of them were twenty p and some of them were fifty p. So here's some of the twenty p stuff. We've got another Lego figure and a Lego Land Discovery Centre thing there. We got this figure, presumably Star Wars. Don't know what it's from now. 20p again. 20p a bag of shark's tooth, which shark's teeth, should I say? Oh, a shell. Mostly like little shark's teeth. With little bits of I don't know stone and stuff. We got all them. 30p, nice big one there. It's got that because I quite like that. Um, 20p DS case. That's worth picking up, quite a handy little case. Might be able to use it for something else. Um, yeah, I picked up. I picked up uh, some Skylanders, that's like legendary, um, oh, I can't remember the name, that was 20p. I did pick up these and now regret it because I didn't notice that she didn't have a head and I couldn't find the rest of the, the body for that. I think I lost it to be honest, I think it's uh, come off when I've been putting stuff in the bag so that's pretty. We have a bob -omb from Mario, I believe this is the Kinex one. 
uh, connect here. So again, 20p. Uh, 20p for this retro games control. I think this is one you just literally plug into your TV. Batteries and it's play games. I mean, I'll have a go with that. See if it works. Don't know if it works. Uh, we got that for again for 20p Disney Infinity and uh, Thor figure. On to the fifty. No, this was uh, this one was tw definitely twenty p as well. As was that early learning centre figures. They were now fifty p lot. No, we haven't. There's still one twenty p. <laughs> Just a random tiger I chucked in. Um, fifty p. We have this Ghostbusters car. I don't think it's pop, is it? No, Titans vinyl. Good for 50p. We got one of the Alien Lens and Dragons. We got a Mario um, Odyssey figure. It's a little bit of dirty. Um, oh, it's not an Odyssey figure, is it? It's 2009. Um, yeah, it's a bit dirty, that is. I didn't see that bad when I bought it, but it does look a bit minging. A big uh, Wario figure. Isn't it? Pop him there. You know. Um, Slimer. Can't go wrong with a Slimer. A um, Doctor Who Cyberman figure. Uh, Donkey Kong, they, that's, uh, they were all 50p, and these ones are like 20p. Uh, next up, this is a cool find, and uh, it was a antique dealer store, but he had like loads of books, and a little section of kids' books, and I managed to find a um, bunch, bunch, whole bunch of them. He wanted 50p each for these, because he knew they were worth a little bit of money. Um, I didn't realise how much money they were, so we managed to get, I think it was 13 for um, 5 quid, so we knocked off like £1.50, because some of these are really badly sun damaged, as you can see that one isn't, so that's a, that's a bit of a shame, because these are pretty cool, inside they're pretty good condition, uh, date wise 1980. Very cool. I think I've got some of the pencil toppers upstairs. I definitely remember Spud. Yeah, so we've got... We've got 13 of them. We've got a uh, Casper Carrot, Sally Strawberry, Professor Peabody, Lucy Lemon. I actually uh, put one of these into my watch list on uh, eBay. And this one, this one on its own sold for £10. Now this one is a... Uh, Again, a sun damaged one, unfortunately. But obviously, still worth 50p. Adam Avocado. So that you can just tell the difference there. Boom. Aubrey Aubergine. Rory Rhubarb. Penny Parsnip. Corky Coconut, unfortunately, with some writing on. Runner Bean. Olive. Emma Apple and Percy Prune. So, yeah, they were a nice little find. Like I say, I think I've got some. Um, I think I've got some of the pencil toppers in my collection upstairs. I'll have to uh, have to root them out. Next up, we got a little Lapras Teddy for fifty p. Probably overpaid on that, to be honest, but it was cute. So, um, yeah, cool bag. The figures for a quid. I'll just open it up. And we got a Scooby Doo figure. Ghost Patrol. Um, Ultron. 
The thing that I bought the uh, pound bag for was uh, uh, Rose Tyler Doctor Who figure. Um, I don't know what this character is. Is it like a Ant Man type thing? I don't know. It is Marvel. Nineteen ninety nine. Don't know the character though. And uh, whatever this is, no idea, no makers marks. Don't know. And lastly, I don't know if this is worth anything, but it's a Merlin figure from the BBC series. I think I might have to give this to my mate because he was a big Merlin fan. And uh, we actually went to the set a few years ago. Two of the sets actually, one at uh, Puzzlewood and one at Clearwell Caves, so that's pretty cool. Uh, lastly, we got a bunch of DVDs. These are all marked up as a quid, but they're actually 50p. So we got Vending uh, the Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. Uh, a Pacific Rim, even though I'd already got it, stupidly. But it's because it came in a case. And it's exactly the same one as well. Oh well, never mind. And now the spare. And <laughs> I was very tired this morning and I've accidentally bought another two copies of uh, Fantastic Four. Again, I think it's because it was in a box set and it threw me off. I couldn't remember if I had it or not. So now we've got two copies of these each. So, I mean, they are second hand, so if they're scratched, at least I have a spare now anyway. Uh, we have a Daredevil, a two disc special edition, which all I need now is Electra and that gets all the Marvel uh, Fox movies, because I've also just picked that up as well, the Fantastic Four, or oh, Fant Four stick. So I paid like one, two, three, four, five, two pound, oh yeah, three pound. Half of my already have, unfortunately. So, that was it for the past few weeks. And, well, I definitely hope we're going to be having another one soon. If we can find enough uh, cool stuff. And until next time, ta-ra for now.